The Guinness Handicap Chases next is a two and a half mile nought on 40. Quest to cut at the top for Martin Lim, San Pedro Werner and El Centro Air, Vinnie Gerard. Stellar performance, Leon Van Rensburg, Nutty Bun, Craig Beckwith, who also got pot of cash. Camillo Demand, Darren Thompson, Emotional, Joshua Sutherland, Jennifer Connolly, Matt Cooper. Periquitum Sweevy for Derek Hinton. Guard Force, Leon Van Rensburg, About Me, James Shea, Kavachi Cadillac, Martin Lim, Lord Carew, Padre Hogan, Charlie Rich for Graham Clutterbuck, Beach Breeze, David Hooney, Paperweight Walker, David Robertson, Corfada Romero, or Derek Hinton, Textal Rain, Darren Thompson, Lautra Dancing for Derek Hinton, Violets No Weighty, and Passe Saratoga. The back to the bottom two for Alex Cherry. They're being called in and they're away and racing and heading off towards the first of the fences in this one. 13 to take all together and over the first they all go. Somebody tell me, please, how on earth my horse quest to cut his top weight in this? It baffles me completely. When you've got horse four the top stables in there, and I've got to give weight to all of them for some reason. I really don't know why. There's a four at the first there. It's Nutty Bunt. I wonder why I get cross about this game sometimes. It's Things just don't make sense. My horse won a maiden race in week one. And have suffered from it ever since. It just might happen to have been a bad maiden. Those maidens, they get overrated. People should not be rating those maidens the way they do. They don't always turn out to be good races. And I would much rather see a few horses get away with a lucky mark week two and get wallop week two than see all the ones that we do see. And we see a lot more on the flat than we do on the jumps, to be fair. Where they get given a whopping great rating at the beginning of, the, of their career and, and they never get back down again. So, handicappers, please stop overrating maidens. They're not all group ones. I hope everybody goes on about it. It's like a group one of maiden. No, it's not. It's just a bunch of horses that haven't won a race before. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're no good. It doesn't also necessarily mean that they're all world beaters. Anyway, they're over that one. That's today's rant out of the way. Lorsha dancing in the lane. You watch Quester Cook go win by six lengths now. Make me look like a right Charlie. <laughs> Flashing Cadillac is in second. Basse Saratoga is third. Then Lord Carew. As they get over the fifth. The secret, of course, is if you're not the. Um, you don't mind playing with a crooked bat, shall we say. You just run all your horses weak one over the wrong trip. And that's what I'm going to do next season, I think. Anyway, they get over the sixth. And Lawstra dancing, not too far over the long trip, of course, otherwise you won't qualify for the handicaps you want to go in. But I'm sure you all know what I mean. And they get into the seventh. And safely over that one. Lawstra dancing in front, doesn't bother the big boys, of course, because they're in group one races most of the time. And don't have to worry about the weights. Right, those of us that are floundering around in the handicaps. When well, we do get a handicap and then we find that we're top weight and all the big boys have snuck in and we've got to give weight away, we get a bit grumpy and I'm the only one who gets to shout about it, so I'm going to. He's lost for dancing in the lead. Kavachi Cadillac second. Lord Carew is third. Pot of cash fourth. I'm going to do it on the flat as well next time it happens. Uh, El Centro is after that, then Periquitum Sweetie, so that people don't think I'm picking on people. It's been the same all the way ever since I've been there. Who'd had the cavalry? So I'm not blaming anybody. It's just the fact that they all get told to rate the maiden races as though they were grade ones, and they shouldn't. We've lost Beach Breeze there as well as we get over the tenth. And Kavachi Cadillac has come to share the lead with San Pedro Werner and Lord for dancing. Lord Carew is after that one in Passe Saratoga and pot of cash. El Centro here and Pericotum Sweevy. After that, then comes Quest of Cut. Guard Francais. And heading down towards the third last fence already. And Lorstra Dancing will lead over it from Cavachi Cadillac and San Pedro Werner. Then Lord Carew and Passe Saratoga. And Camillo Demand is the one who's really struggling out the back. This is the second last gun up. It's the final ditch. And uh, Lorstra Dancing's clear over it in the lead. Kavachi Cadillac's over it in second. Stellar performance, a faller there. 
And on the wide outside, Paperweight Walker's making some good ground. So it's Charlie Reach as well as they head for home. Then they've got just one to get over now. And it's Lord Redunson in the lead from Charlie Reach in second. Paperweight Walker, Passe Saratoga. Look at all these bottom weights off these lightweights coming down towards this final fence. Top weight's got no chance. It's Lord Redunson who's in the lead from Charlie Reach in second. They're coming down to this final fence now. Then over it they go. And it's Charlie Reach who jumps into the lead. Charlie Reach suddenly goes a length clear of Lord Redunson. Then Paperweight Paperweight Walker, Passe Saratoga, and Sam Pedro Werner, and up towards the line, it's going to be Charlie Reach, who's going to take it quite easily, from Paperweight Walker in second, Sam Pedro Werner is third, then Passe Saratoga, Lord Carew, about me, Potter Cash, and all the way back to Questa Cut, top weight, who only beat home violets, no way to I arrest my case. So there you go, Graham Clutterbuck, another winner for him, Charlie Reach. Of three stone seven or something silly. Paperweight Walker was second for David Robertson. Sam Pedro Werner for Vinnie Gerard was third. Passe Saratoga, Alex Cherry fourth. And Lord Carew for Padraig Hogan was fifth.